supporting the coordinate school health program, our department provides a lot of the assessment within the schools. We measure their height, weight, and their BMI for all of the schools so that we can um, actually track obesity trends within the schools. Yeah, when I first got hired at the school, I was hired as the physical education teacher. And the first week here, they said somebody's going to be coming out from Tuba City to meet with me on a program. And so that was my first introduction to coordinated school health. Once I saw it, I saw all the different components and all the things that we'd be doing. One of the things that we have been able to do is to be able to partner with the health systems like Tuba City, their health center there, to be able to to educate not just the children, but the general public. In the last six years, just in Tuba City alone, we've added a thousand people to the diabetes registry. That means in the last six years, a thousand more people have been diagnosed with this disease. And what is worrisome and what we're seeing now is that those rates are really coming up in our young people. Native Americans have a three times rate of getting diabetes than any other ethnic group. Students have a misconception that diabetes will not affect them, it's only for older people. Being out in Gap, you are kind of like in an isolated area where there's not that much perspective on um, being healthy. Coordinated school health um, has contributed to my school because my kids come to school healthier than they did when I first got here. We have students who are making healthy choices. When it comes to the numbers, it lets us know what we need to do as a school. And I think that's very important because you have the evidence to justify what you need at your school. It leaves room for improvement and it leaves room for um, awareness when it comes to health and when it comes to taking care of your body here on the reservation. All parents that should enjoy walking with their kids or do things with their kids and motivate them in their education. I see the role of coordinated school health and health promotion in general is a member of the team along with tribal leaders, along with school administrators, along with teachers, along with healthcare professionals of really raising the bar of how we're going to get our kids healthier because there's a lot of um, different illnesses that are striking our community. What else can you think of? There's lots of things, um, high cholesterol, we have heart problems, the high blood pressure, so heartburns. These are things that you need to be aware of us that we need to learn how to be physically uh, fit, okay?